Hi there, my name is Liam Gallagher. I am the Chief Instructor of the Senjikai Karate Academy. I'm a fifth time black belt with GKS. Uh, I've been practicing karate for 35 years now. And we opened up the Senjikai Karate Academy in 2011. It started with three of us in a hall in Ayrshire. And now we have uh, over 300 members across the rest of Scotland. For me, what karate offers, as well as a, a fighting art, it also helps develop confidence and self-respect from our young athletes. Um, we get children in from the age of four, who, uh, we've got kids that actually start at four years old, but there's are now black belts at 11, 12 years old, and compete at national and international level. But competition is a very small part of what we do in the Senjikai. Out of our 300 odd members, maybe only 30 compete. So that's about 10%. Most people that come in here, it's for self-confidence, um, it's for socialising, and we're very much a family-based club. If you come into any of our sessions, you'll see mums and dads, brothers and sisters all training together, having fun and uh, just accomplishing their goals. The squad itself has been put into place the last couple of years. We had a lot of students that wanted to start competing at a reasonable level and some of our athletes are, have been doing that. Some of them started at regional level and are competing at national and some have just been chosen to compete at international level. Unfortunately, karate doesn't get much in the way of recognition and sponsorship, so our young athletes have to fundraise and uh, do that themselves, which isn't the easiest thing to do, because all they want to do is come in and train. We have the fundraising committee which stands alone from the club itself, it's separate from me as an instructor, it runs independently and its remit is quite simply to benefit the students and the community at large. They have done loads of things, they've uh, done litter picks in the community, they went out and did that and there was no sponsorship for that, the guys went out and litter picked from one side of the, the town to the other and the local community were putting envelopes of money through the door. We, we just advertised it in the local Facebook page to say that we'd done this and would you be interested and that's what they did. But the fundraising committee, uh, which is made up of parents, uh, they, they really drive that and they really kind of seek out the fundraising. Karate for me is for everybody. Our youngest students, four, our oldest students in these 60s. Um, not everybody competes at a high level. I, I don't push everybody to compete. It's, 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 it needs to be a choice for people. Most people that come in here, they're working on their de personal development, their technique, and they're giving themselves small goals going through their belts, most aiming to black belt. Um, it's karate for me is for everybody, regardless of your fitness level. Um, you'll always improve, you'll always get better just by turning up and putting in a wee bit of effort. When you leave my classes, I want you to feel that you've, you've taken a wee step closer to your goals. I want you to walk out feeling, yeah, maybe that was tough tonight, but yeah, I feel like I've, I've, I call them light bulb moments. I like it when my, my students, I can see it when I'm teaching, they've got to be a light bulb moment to get something, something they've maybe been struggling with for a while, and that's what I strive to do in all my classes. I try and give light bulb moments to all my students. I wasn't very well as a child. I, was, uh, I spent a lot of time in York Hill Hospital. I was a chronic acute asthmatic, and I was in for almost a year once. I was in and out, and it was, it was quite severe, and they thought they were going, I, was going to, I was on my way out a couple of times over that time period. And one of my doctors was a black belt. This was in uh, Ward 6B in York Hill. And he suggested that maybe you should start martial arts. And then my mum thought he was bonkers. I could barely uh, play a game of football without needing inhalers or nebulizers. And he suggested, no, you can strengthen your body first by doing something like karate, and then you can build your fitness level up behind that. And that's what I did. So I managed to talk mum into letting me go. And it was the height of the karate kid phase back in the kind of early 80s. Um, and I walked in as a big ginger afro and a big pair of NHS specs and a pair of wee skinny legs and my wee shorts and it just, I just got the bug. I just got the bug and I've loved it and I fell in love with it then and I, I love it just as much now. We're delighted to be working with Carl Dale and um, we've got a very similar image uh, and view on what we should do. It should go beyond just making money or it's about giving back to the community and developing the community. For us it's developing uh, citizens through ethics and responsibility and achievements through hard work and, uh, and we're delighted to be working with Cardi. Yeah, if you, if you want to find Senju Kai, we're not hard to find, just type into Facebook Senju Kai Karate Scotland and you'll find our main Facebook page. If you contact us through that, we can direct you to any of our clubs. We've got a website as well, 
at www.sinjikaikarate.co.uk. You can click on that and you can book a free trial. We do a two week free trial for everybody that comes in the door. No obligation, you come in, you give it a bash. If you like it, great. If you don't, that's okay too. At least you give it a shot.